What's up, people of YouTube? This is Troy here, bringing you guys the second installment in the COD Gear Assessment Series that is new to my channel, where I take a perk, um, equipment, or weapon, and I break it down and give you guys my honest opinion and review of the weapon slash perk slash equipment. And today we are going to be reviewing the uh, scene on screen KF5. The weapon class it is in is the SMG. Its origin is the German MP5, which is also the gun that it is very related to in real life. I do not think that this is a real weapon. I could not find any background history on this weapon, so I think that it is just a futuristic form of the German MP5. The game appearances it has been in is Advanced Warfare. The best variance for this weapon is the Breakneck. The damage is 35 to 25. For first five rounds, 33 to 18 after. The damage multiplier for this weapon is 1.1 times for the head. The standard magazine size is 40. The maximum magazine size is 60 with extended mags. Rate of fire is 869 rounds per minute, 1086 with rapid fire. The recoil is moderate to low. Cover penetration is low. And the best attachments you can use for this weapon is advanced rifling, quick draw, and foregrip. I give this weapon an overall review of 7.5 out of 10. Recently, this gun has gotten a buff, and I enjoy using it a lot more. And I would say that it's best being used in uh, medium to close range gunfights. I think now, after it has been patched, I haven't messed around too much with some of the other SMGs aside from this one and the ASM1, but... Um, I would say that this is now the second best SMG in Advanced Warfare, and like I said, it's really good to medium to close range areas. Definitely not good for long range gunfights because recoil, even though it does not uh, get out of control, the muzzle flash, I feel like, is rather high on this gun, and I haven't tried it with a suppressor really because it, it just doesn't sound like a good idea. But I don't feel like it is a, a good idea to use a suppressor with this weapon, and I, I don't feel like it's a good idea to be using this weapon in long range gunfights due to the fact that the muzzle flash will uh, or can throw you off of your shot. So uh, some of the better maps to use this on would be maps like Comeback or maps like, as you can see on screen, um, oh, what is this map's name? I can't remember it. Um, but y you guys know what map this is. And just other small maps, Retreat would be another good one for this, this gun. And uh, and Advanced Warfare SMGs have not been the dominant gun aside from the ASM-1, but the KF-5 is definitely a gun to give a shot, and you know, typically in the Call of Duty games, besides uh, COD-4, I believe, the MP5, MP5K, whatever you want to call it, hasn't been one of the most dominant weapons. It's usually either been bad or decent, and in this case, this weapon in Advanced Warfare, at this point in the game, which is about halfway through the game's life cycle, it is at about decent. Um, I would definitely recommend using this gun if you guys are tired of using the ASM-1 or if you're tired of using the AK-12 or BAL-27 or whatever you typically use on a, on a normal day. If you want to try things out that you haven't done before, definitely try using the KF-5. I've gotten a few gameplays that you guys might have already seen on my channel using this weapon and I'm starting to mess around with it more and that's why I figured I should use it for a review. Anyways guys, Twitter and Facebook links will be down in the description as always. Please remember to like and subscribe as it really helps my channel out, helps me grow, helps me get exposure, and much more. The video you guys, you guys are going to see on screen will last video that I made, and deuces.